Let's see how many rare body features you or your friends have. Elf-like ears are pretty rare. They are different because of the pointy part on the outside. There's an additional cartilage fold in the middle area around the part we know as the scapha. Most people are right-handed, while about 10% of them are left-handed. But there are those with no preference for using a left or right hand. They can play guitar, use scissors, write, and perform all other activities with any hand they want. Only 1% of those can do it, and we know them as ambidextrous. And if you can talk out of both sides of your mouth, you may have a future in politics. Less than one-third of the population can flare the nostrils on command. The muscle in charge of this is weak because we have nothing to use it for. That's why most people can't do such things with their nostrils on command. People that live in Nepal and Tibet have a specific gene that allows them to breathe at such high altitudes. Most people feel sick in such conditions, but they are unique because they can breathe normally. It's a super-athlete gene they have there. You can trace it back to Denosovans, a group that lived in the mountainous areas around Asia around 40,000 years ago. This gene brings them a higher level of oxygen-carrying hemoglobin. That's why the body can distribute oxygen more efficiently, so, unlike us, they won't feel oxygen-deprived when performing certain tasks at such altitudes. Arcus salinus is also pretty rare. It's a white or gray arc you can see above and below the outer region of the cornea. In other words, the clear dome-like thing that covers the front part of your eye. It's something common in older people. This arc may become a complete ring around the iris, the colored portion of the eye. Some people naturally don't need to sleep too much. The majority of us cannot take a couple of nights of lost sleep without consequences. But a small percentage out there has this special gene that allows them to get away with sleeping 6 or even fewer hours, which is about 2 hours less than average. From 1-3% to of the population has this so-called clock gene. They can be more productive because they don't feel tired as we do when we sleep less. Leonardo da Vinci, Thomas Jefferson, and some other famous historical figures were some of them. Now, most people have three cones in their eyes, so we can see a broad color spectrum. But some have a rare fourth cone. We call them tetrachromats, and because of this feature, they can see up to 100 million colors. The rest of us average folks see about 1 million colors. It's a rare body feature you can mostly find in women. Have you heard of heterochromia? It's a rare condition where people have eyes of different colors or different colored sections in each eye. Sometimes this condition can lead to differences in color in some other parts of the body like hair or skin. Or it can result in irises with two different hues. Heterochromia is a condition that happens because, due to genetics, some people have unevenly distributed melanin in their bodies, and only 1% of the population has it. Chimerism is a rare genetic condition where a person has two completely different sets of DNA, which we call genomes, in their body. One genome is predominant in one organ or generally one area of the person's body, whereas the other is in other tissues or organs. Even animals can have this condition. Both animals and humans with chimerism can even have two different blood types in their body simultaneously, and we may be talking about different amounts of each of those types. It would be cool to have bones so dense almost nothing could break them. Some people have them, thanks to an LRP5 gene mutation. People with these rock bones have eight times denser bones than most. When someone says there's a thing called golden blood, it's easy to imagine small particles of blood running through some people's veins. But it's not quite like that, nor does it have a golden color. It's called this way because we're talking about a pretty rare blood group only about 40 people in the world have. These people don't have all Rh blood cell antigens, which, in simple terms, means anyone who has another rare Rh group can have this type as donor blood which is pretty helpful. Hey, check this out! It's something called a long palmar muscle, and it was way more important to our ancestors than to us. 
Some of them were pretty big fans of climbing trees, so they developed a specific muscle and ligament to perform that through time. And some people still have it even today. To check if you have it, just put the back of the palm on a flat surface. Now touch your thumb and pinky together and lift them slightly. If you see your ligament popping out, yup, you have a long palmar muscle. Some have photo sneeze reflex, which is a special condition where people uncontrollably sneeze in response to bright light. So the sun makes 10 to 35% of people sneeze. If you have a perfect pitch, you should know it's really not that common. It's when someone is able to identify and tell different musical notes based on their frequencies. So if you hear a D sharp, you can tell it's a D sharp without too much guessing. Fewer than 1 in 10,000 people say they can have a perfect pitch, and it's still not sure if you get it naturally or if it's necessary to develop it at a very early age. Because research showed you can develop a perfect pitch, it takes a lot of training and consistency to immediately tell the key and notes of your favorite song. Not many people have naturally blonde hair, and red hair is even rarer. Less than 2% of the population has it, and 11% of the human race have naturally curly hair. We all learned in school that the heart is leaned toward the left side of the chest, but certain people have it on the right side. It doesn't necessarily mean this condition would have some negative consequences, but it can affect the rest of the organs. Around 22% of the human race has Morton's toe, and Morton wants it back. <laughs> Just kidding. Morton's toe is when your second toe is longer than the big one. If you look carefully, you'll see the Statue of Liberty has Morton's toe. Some have this tiny bump on the inside of the upper part of their ear. It's known as Darwin's bump or Darwin's tubercle. Some even believe people who have this little bump potentially sense voice tonality better. Only 16% of people across the globe can produce a roaring noise in their heads. They do it by using their jaw. They control a tiny muscle in the jaw that prevents it from hearing certain noises like chewing. But when these people flex it, they can hear a roaring noise from inside. About one-third of the population can gleek, and just 1% can do it on command. Not that useful, but still rare. 4% of people have Raynaud's syndrome. This is when a part of your body, usually your fingers or toes, start to turn white when exposed to low temperatures. It's your body's overreaction to cold or distress. Now, check your fingerprints. Are they looped, whirled, or arched? The first two types are more common, while just 5% of people have arched fingerprints. Not many people have birthmarks, only 10% of them. In most cases, birthmarks are oval and have a coffee-type color. Dimples may seem like something common, but only a quarter of the world's population have them. You can have one or two dimples. And they're something we inherit, so if your parents have it, mm-hmm. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.